Hello, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Tuesday's uh, trading session mid-afternoon update, the 11th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we find ourselves? Where are we positioned? Asian markets first and foremost overnight. We have the Nikkei up 114 points, 0.5 percent. Hang Seng up 1.5 percent, but the Shanghai finishing more or less flat again. So again, that certainly isn't a um, a good sign, and that obviously has been shown in the uh, the weak response in European equities. Okay, so that's the status quo in terms of European markets. Where do we stand? It's a FTSE that certainly is bearing the brunt. Uh, certainly some fear over Mr. Haldane and Broadbent's comments, and certainly some front running going on there. Uh, FTSE certainly setting off quite sharply down. Set, it was at 7.380 at one point before it reversed quite sharply down 63 points at 7.306. The German DAX at present is currently uh, trading around the 12.460 zone, up 14 points. The French CAC certainly under pressure, down 13 points at 5.150. We have the FTSE MIB basically trading sideways, and but the IBEX being certainly lower. Okay, in terms of economic data this morning from Europe, let's just quickly go over that. Uh, we had the industrial production from Italy certainly coming in stronger. Uh, we had Japanese machine orders overnight, certainly on the stronger side. Mr. Williams' speech was certainly hawkish as well. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Theresa May's speech is certainly expected. Uh, we have the situation with regards to Mr. Broadbent and Mr. Haldane's speech certainly is pending. It should have come out by now, nothing on the wires as of yet, therefore no real reaction in Sterling. Okay, in terms of uh, U U US session now, we have Red Book Index, Jolts and Wholesale Inventories. Uh, and we also have Canadian Stats, Housing Stats, which will be important. Uh, ECB Curious, but expected to talk around 3 p.m. And then we have Mr. Brainard and Kashkari speaking later on as well. And that should be interesting to see, to gain an insight into the FOMC. Okay, uh, let's see where we are technically positioned then on the markets at present. Uh, German DAX, let's just quickly go to the German DAX here. Looking at the daily chart, the German DAX, certainly a topping tail pattern, uh, certainly being uh, put in here. Uh, seems like the previous support equals resistance pattern is certainly in play. Uh, we did get a topping tail, 60 minute chart as well. Let's just move on to there. You had a pivot hive around 12.530, which quickly was rejected. Now you do have the unfilled gap below at 12.390, so it'll be interesting to see how the market responds there. Uh, but the 12.530, 12.540 initial pivot high certainly rejected quite sharply. Uh, we'll see whether or not we can retest that later on. After yesterday's export import data, certainly bullish for the German DAX. Uh, for now, we certainly seem to be finding support at gap fill, so therefore looking for a bounce here on uh, European equities, looking to potentially test that 12.540 again on the upside. In terms of uh, the uh, French CAC, let's just look at the French CAC here, daily chart. Certainly a bearish engulfing candle thus far, certainly retracing. From my perspective, looking to test that 5200 level. Uh, we have put in a double bottom, so therefore we're looking to work off there. 10 minute chart, certainly looking at support here now on the horizontal uh, axis. Okay, so certainly looking for support. If we do fall further, then you have gap fill at 5145. So watch out for that. Okay, so the French CAC certainly looking to bounce here as well. Let's move on to the FTSE 100 now. Okay, so FTSE 100 really is the one that's been flushed today. Looking at the daily chart, we certainly have been rejecting 7385. We're certainly holding support at 7300. And 7300 certainly looks like the support is expected to hold. You do have the H&S formation in play, but given the weak economic data as of late, that will force the BOE certainly to turn dovish from my perspective. And hence, Mr. Haldane is certainly going to be of the dovish nature. Now, I'm very surprised that we retraced a full less, more than 75%, but again, it has to be respected, the weakness, certainly, even though we had weaker, stronger retail sales numbers overnight, the BRC data certainly came in stronger. The FTSE certainly has sold off in advance, which is very strange, uh, unless they know something that we don't, okay? And the sterling certainly has risen as well. If you bring up the start of uh, ch start chart of sterling, it's as if traders have already priced in the actual uh, hawkish uh, comments from BOE and Mr. Haldane. So very strange, okay? Whether or not people are panicking and short squeezing or whether they have inside information is a different story altogether. My job really isn't to worry about that. I'm looking more of a uh, technical uh, bounce here, given the fact that we're extremely oversold. We did hit a pivot high this morning. If I look at the chart here, you had a pivot high of 7385, and then we rejected that quite sharply. Uh, in terms of the move higher, if we do rip higher, then you are looking at 73.45 minimum. 
uh, I would expect really uh, looking at a 200 MA. So again, looking for a short squeeze post Haldane and uh, Brim, Mr. Brent. Okay, moving on to the euro stocks now. Again, daily chart certainly is into support. From my perspective, it's really just bullish consolidation after yesterday's stronger German data, and therefore we're looking to potentially move higher on the euro stocks. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, for today's trading. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.